Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shakti Vil. Today we will see uh, how we can solve the problems that we have with our uh, you know implementation so far with the help of Enum. Again, if you have not watched the previous video, it is must uh, to understand whatever I'm going to teach now. So please make sure that you watch the previous section so that you can under you can completely correlate what's happening here. Good. So this is going to be the agenda for today. So we're going to solve the existing issue that we have with our explicit weight implementation with the help of Enum. And we also going to create a reasonable method for handling all these kind of weights. So we cannot write a lot of if statements or your switch cases in uh, inside the base page. It looks a little clumsy. So we're going to uh, have, have it in a better way. So then we, we also solve the, you know, the property file implementation. If you notice, we also use some hot coding of, uh, uh, you know, the, the parameter values uh, when, when we're calling the property files. So, so we'll try to avoid them with the help of enums as well. So uh, let's get into the workspace and uh, start changing. Okay, now if you notice, this is the thing. So instead of, uh, we, I want to restrict people uh, from uh, passing whatever the values they want. They want to, uh, you know, use uh, some predefined set of values. That's what uh, Enum is all about, right? So uh, it's more than that, but for now, for our use case, this, this is what we're going to use, yeah? So so I can, I have to create a package. Again, I obviously cannot create an SRC test Java, so I'm creating it here. So to hold all my Enums, okay? So maybe I'll, I'll name it as com.tmb.enums, okay? And then here I can create an Enum okay uh, create an enum uh, this 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 basically speaks about my waiting strategy right how i want to wait for the elements whether i want to wait till it is become present in the web page or whether i want to you know uh, wait for it to become clickable or whether i want to make you know based on the condition right? it's kind of wait strategy right that's what we are going to use so can you name it as wait strategy yeah this much you know sounds much reasonable Again, what kind of weight strategy I can allow? Uh, clickable, okay. Uh, the presence, okay. And then I also want to give them an option to wait for the visibility of the particular element. And then there is an option to choose none. I, they don't want any any weight strategy, right? They just want to directly find the element and click on it. They don't want to do any waiting at all. Uh, because in some cases, if you have username and password, you already waited for the username and password. There is no need to wait for the login button. It doesn't gonna go anywhere. So you don't have to obviously, you know, call that particular wait strategy, perform the wait. Anyway, it, it, it's gonna be very quick, but if you want still the control to be given to the, you know, page layers, you can introduce something called as none. So that they, they get all these options, okay? Now, uh, let me go here and to the base page. And I'm gonna tell them instead of string, okay, you guys need to pass me a, uh, you know, enum of weight strategy, right? So weight strategy is coming from your enums package, weight strategy. But the, but the thing is here, now they cannot pass the string, okay? They need to pass a waiting strategy. So how can I, how, how can they use this? So I'll go here and then type waiting strat, weight strategy, right? Dot. And then they can only choose from this list of options. They cannot choose something else. That's a that's a real beauty about using an enum. So we are controlling what people want to use, right? So I want to wait for the presence of this particular element, right? In the same way, here you can also use a, a wait strategy for clickable because we already faced the element not interactable exception when we are trying to click on this. So use clickable strategy here. The same way. Uh, we go here again. This is presence. I'll change it to weight strategy dot presence. Okay, I can copy this and then move it here. Okay, this is the send keys, right? So it's fine. We also gonna change the send keys as well. Let me go to the send keys instead of this. You guys gonna pass me weight strategy, right? Again, this is not of string type, it's of weight strategy type, right? I know I don't need this uh, if block to be like this. So what I can do, if someone is passing me a weight strategy, okay, uh, if uh, I need to do a if comparison, right? Previously we saw someone is telling a weight strategy, yeah, uh, equals equals weight strategy, okay, dot clickable. 
okay then i need to wait for the clickable so okay, again guys if you have not watched the previous video you might not know how to do the comparison with enum so please watch the previous ones okay so the same way uh, you know i want to compare the weight strategy uh, is presence okay i want to do this okay the same way you can implement for the other ones okay so let me copy this okay then use it here now everything looks fine right but still if i if i also have to include for the visible okay i need to add one more line i need to create one more method then i if i want to implement for none i also need to add one more if condition so this is going to take lot of uh, my my space right the code looks clumsy right even for the send keys i have to write like this suppose if there is a drop down again i need to add this if conditions this is something that's not good but we'll try to fix those you see later but for now let's try to run and check whether everything is working fine till here okay before heading further i guess we find the videos to be little slow please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2 so that you don't feel any slowness and if you have any any comments like if you want to uh, if you have any doubts please uh, contact me i'll try to help as much as possible so now the test has started entered yeah now everything working fine good so see with a simple implementation of enum we are avoiding a big problem in our uh, you know in our uh, explicit weight implementation previously the user can enter uh, or send whatever the values he want but now he he has to choose something from here suppose if he is not choosing something from here let let me just tell uh, i am testing the compiler won't allow it will ask for the implementation see send me uh, you know weight strategy okay i don't want your empty string okay so this way okay we are we are restricting the user to select all these values so that they we do not get much runtime exceptions that's what we want right good now there is another problem we have a lot of code here we will try to fix this and then before that we also have something called as uh, driver.java where we are using the same way driver dot get url instead of url if they are passing me uh, url or url uh, or website url okay they don't know how to use this so this obviously will throw me even though we have handled the exception it will throw me property name okay this website url is not found please check configure properties but it's all runtime exceptions right but is there any way i can avoid that's what uh, enums comes and help us right so i can i can pre set a predefined set of values what they want to use okay so we'll also try to fix this with the help of enum okay so the same enum package i'm going to create uh, another enum uh, this time i'm going to name it as config properties because i'm going to hold all the properties here right so here uh, let me open the property files as well if you notice for now we have only url again if you can have multiple values uh but for now it's having only url you can also add something like browser even though i am not using it currently but you can add something like this so whatever the values you are adding here okay make sure that you have a entry in your uh, config properties in java you have all the enums created for them so url you have browser for now but you are if you are adding more then you need to add the uh, enums here okay once you did this then what you can do go to the read property file again this read property file is not looking uh, good uh, the name because the package is telling it's a utils or so maybe i can rename it better so go and refactor it to something like property utils that's more readable and understandable right even though these are all very small things uh, this this matters right so and now i will open the property utils so instead of passing a string okay i want them to pass a type of okay config properties this is the enum that we have created right if they pass this okay what, what i can do i can just convert this okay you can use a name there is a uh, something called as name okay you can use name dot to lower case you can do that because all the so key dot name dot Uh, two lower case will will convert this URL to small letter URL. Okay, otherwise uh, you have to go and change something in here. You have to change it to capital letters. But I don't want to do that, so I can tell uh, provide 
please provide the key in lowercase okay something like this i can ask them to do follow this certain standard now let me go back to the property utils that i have now everything works fine okay whatever the value that i am passing from there will be converted to a form of string and then there is no change that i have to do here okay everything works fine only thing is when they are calling they need to uh, you know send a config properties parameter not a string value so this way it's throwing me error okay now if you this config properties dot the user will have the option only to choose from this okay they cannot choose anything else so now for now i need url we have fixed almost all the issues so we are not hard coding anything user was not allowed to you know enter whatever he thinks he has to choose from the predefined set of options again guys this may look little complicated but believe me if you are developing a framework for your enterprise level or your company level or even for your project you need to make sure that you know there are we we try to avoid as much as runtime exception as possible right we already have lot of exceptions that's coming like no such element we there are so many other exceptions so we will try to avoid all these things and make a job easy for the people who are using our framework good so everything was working fine now let me go to the base page we have something like this how how can i optimize this is there any way okay what we can do uh, i'll create a simple uh, uh, let me let me create a simple package i will explain you uh, what we can do with that so what, what i want to do uh, com dot tmb dot let me name it as a factories okay i'm going to hold a lot of factory classes here okay what is a factory uh, i'll keep that for later but for now we just want to uh, reuse the method i don't want to uh, write the same thing again and again okay so let me create a class let me name it as uh, uh, explicit uh, explicit weight uh, implementation or you can name it as explicit weight factory because uh, it's going to hold all my explicit weight uh, things right so but yeah let let me name it as like this and then uh, if you notice uh, we will we will create a method here okay whatever we have in the base page will move here okay whatever we have here will move to this particular explicit weight factory Uh, okay first let me create a static method uh, of type void maybe uh, perform explicit weight okay you need to perform explicit weight that's your job okay to perform explicit weight i might need two things one what kind of uh, weight strategy that i need to follow and then uh, what kind of uh, locator i should wait for so control shift and o will import the by class for you so once you send me these two things i can i can move the whole stuff from there to here okay so let me go here what are the condition that i have i'll cut it and i'll paste it here so again the name is wait strategy okay i instead of this element uh, you know this I, i i can create it as a static and call from here but i can actually provide the implementation here okay let me go to the base page and copy all this implementation from here or you can copy it for clickable i want to do like this okay and then for your uh, presence okay you can do like this and even if you want to add more things uh, else if you have your weight strategy okay we have four things right weight strategy uh, visibility so when you want to wait for an element visibility then you can copy this whole thing and just change this is uh, visibility of element located okay and then you also have one more thing that is uh, else if the weight strategy is none that is the last one we have we'll also implement that here okay when when this is none i don't want to wait in for anything so i just have leave it as empty for now or i can put some statements so no not doing anything okay i I'll, i'll remove this but for now we'll just give some random values here okay suppose someone is 
you know calling this method and asking me to wait when for this particular element uh, if they are passing me the strategy as well this particular method will do the whole thing for us okay that's that's what you want to understand ignore that you want to have a name as factory and other stuff we'll we'll see that for uh, you know another day but for now just understand we have just moved the method from there to here okay so i don't need this anymore here okay i can remove this and then instead of calling like this i can just call the class name explicit uh, explicit wait factory is the class name and then there is a method perform explicit wait and what are the wait strategy is coming and the bike locator i am just passing to this so this will automatically do the waiting for me i don't have to worry about anything else okay no everything is set but if you notice uh, if we go here this, this particular class see this uh, this whole statement will return me a web element see what this new web driver wait wait dot until expected conditions it actually will wait for the element and will return you the web elements if you notice let me just incorrectly tell string a but it's telling uh, error change type of a to web element so it's actually returning you it's actually wait for that particular element and it will return you the web elements so what i can do i can change it to web elements again instead of this i can use uh, web elements Elements be initialized to null, and then here this element is this. Okay. So this way, I can even return the web element. I don't have to write two lines of code. Here, when the wait strategy is null, I can directly find the web element. So, driver manager. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Uh, okay, driver. find element by because they didn't told any waiting strategy so i'll if the waiting strategy is none i will just return the web element so here i will change it to web element okay now it will ask me to add a return statement that's absolutely fine yeah i will return a web element when this is returning your web element what you can do you know in your base page you can directly directly call click that's the beauty now so even you don't have to again previously what we did we are waiting uh, for the web element and then again we are finding the web element actually we find the web element before itself we are finding element two times just to perform one click operation so what we can do instead i returned a web element and then i directly calling the click method on it so that you don't even need this line of code okay now this is cool okay instead of this i can directly perform send keys and then uh, what are the value that is coming okay i can do this this is just one line of code see we have so much line of code but now we just made it to one line of code again this is not much readable because if, if someone is coming here who cannot easily understand then you can easily create a, you know uh, something like this and you can call elements dot click here okay instead of i just return the web element from there and then i can you know click it with another line again this we are just creating a uh, variable here just for more readability nothing else okay you can follow the same approach here okay instead of this i am going to return store it in a variable local variable creating a local variable doesn't cost you much so element dot send keys uh, one of the value that is coming now our code looks much clean much readable than before so that's all for today i think you all have learned something new today if you have liked my channel please do subscribe guys thanks a lot for your support thank you